What's up YouTube, Scott Lett here, owner of Pro Exterior Cleaning. I'm out here, um, I just landed a $400 house wash job from a Facebook ad. Gonna wash this house here, gonna wash that deck you can see. She wants me to do only half the fence. I'll be here maybe two hours. <clears throat> I'm gonna wash this house. easy job so two hours worth of work 400 bucks I'm gonna watch this little carport for her. I think it was like a $30 lead on Facebook pretty fired up about it got Zeus out here ready to wash ready to make some money let's get after it so I'm doing this job next week next Wednesday so I'll see y'all there. Guys, so I just want to take some time today. Um, I'm chilling in my office, catching up on some paperwork, sending some emails to some apartments, just kind of some follow up emails, um, getting ready for next year. I just want to give you guys a job recap on the job I did yesterday. Um, I did not get anywhere close to the amount of footage I wanted to to get because the customer wanted to talk. She kind of followed me around a little bit, so it was just one of those type of ordeals but job went well she was super happy she told me quote unquote she was happy and proud of her home so when you hear that that makes you feel good um so how i took on this job was i 12 volted the fence and the decking i made about a three percent mix with sodium hypochlorite at 12 and a half percent and then i use this stuff on wood called deck wash and you can buy that at northern tool um I think it's like 20 bucks for one gallon, but that one gallon can last you, I mean, 10 washes probably. Uh, it's pretty potent stuff. It works well. And I put two applications on the deck because it was so stained. Um, I honestly made a rookie mistake and didn't let it dwell long enough the first time. So I put a second application on there and used my hot water to rinse, and that made the deck look brand new. And then... Um, I soft washed the house, I downstreamed the whole house. I used 12.5% downstream uh, with my four gallon per minute machine and shooter tip and I knocked that house out in 30 minutes. So um, the job itself took me about two hours, made 400 bucks, uh, but I was there probably an extra 45 minutes because the customer wanted to talk, chit chat, she invited me inside to come you know, eat and all this kind of stuff, <laughs> which is fine. You know, um, she was a widow, older lady, so I keep that in mind that they're lonely and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I took the time to talk to her, but that's kind of what I want to talk about today is, you know, how do you disengage those customers who are wanting to talk to you, you know? And, um, you know, definitely be relational and, you know, have a conversation with your customers, you know, just don't show up and just give an estimate or a bid and leave. And definitely at the job, you want to be relational. But there's got to be a moment in time where you're, you know, it's, it's time to get to work, right? So, you know, how do you disengage the customers that are wanting to talk? You know, it's usually the older generation, or then you have the older guys who have never cranked a power washer a day in their life. But the, se the second you show up, they become the power washing experts, right? So the first scenario, let's so say we have a talker, someone who just wants to, you know, tell you about, you know, every, pretty much the story of their life. How I disengage that is, you know, I'll just kind of say, hey, all right, I'm going to get started. If you don't mind going inside, I'll let you know when I finish. You know, I'm using some pretty harmful, you know, chemicals to breathe in. You know, I don't want you to, you know, breathe these in as I'm cleaning. And that usually disengages them enough to let me complete the job. And um, it usually works. You know, if I mention chemicals, they usually say, okay, I need to go inside, especially being older. And, um, which is all true, but it's an easy way to disengage. Um, the guys or the customers who want to tell you how to do your job, uh, who follow you around and very paranoid, um, I simply just tell them, look, listen, I've been doing this a long time. You know, I have all the professional equipment. I have the knowledge. You hired me as a professional and an expert in this industry. You're paying me, you know, premium prices for me to come out here and do a good job and this is my system you know can we go ahead and address whatever concerns you have and I can answer those and then I need to go about my job my day because I have other jobs I need to go complete you know so um, I handle it very professionally but 
I cannot work with someone following me around. And I also can't work when someone continues to talk to me. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing because, you know, depending if I'm doing a roof wash, a soft wash, you know, fence, deck cleaning, driveway cleaning, whatever it may be, I have a system that I like to stick with, you know, dwell times, you know, ratios, you know, applications, you know, and I have a, num a number in mind how long of how long a job's gonna take. And I wanna stay on that course because, you know, during my busy season, every second counts because I'm, I'm trying to get there knock out my three jobs for the day and get to the house, right? So um, learning how to disengage those customers, learning how to tell those customers, hey, you hired me to be a professional, to be an expert. This is how I do things. If you are not comfortable with how I do it, I'm happy to pass this job along to someone else. And um, sometimes they take it well, sometimes they don't. Those older men who think they know everything because they're older and you're a young guy, you know, you're going to deal with those. So, and that's how I kind of handle that situation. You know, with all due respect, sir, you've hired me as a professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. I've done this type of cleaning multiple, multiple times, thousands of times probably. And, you know, this is my system. If you, if you do not like the way I'm doing this, hire somebody else. And I, you know, I've, I've had some customers, you know, not many, you know, say I just, I don't feel comfortable with that. Like, for instance, I had a customer um, tell me they want me to power wash their vinyl home. I said, no, sir, I, you know, the way I clean vinyl is through a soft wash. And, and he said, I just don't think that's going to do what I want. And I explained to them, showed them pictures, and he's like, man, I just, I believe a pressure washer is, and I just said, look, man, you're going to have to hire someone else because, you know, the amount of pressure that I have with my washers on your vinyl Really, anybody's pressure washers with 4,000 PSI hitting your vinyl is going to destroy it. And I lost the job. But you know what? I'd rather lose the job and lose $300, $400 than destroy a house, you know, in the, in the vinyl and have to replace all that. You know, and you do not want to file claims on your insurance. Okay, so that's kind of how I disengage those type of customers. And this particular lady wanted to talk. And I just simply told her, hey, you know, these are some pretty harsh chemicals. I'll let you know when I finish. And um, but she and I still was there probably an extra 30, 45 minutes talking to her. But uh but anyways, guys, um I did shoot some some video of, of the job, so stay tuned and and check it out. I'm here at this job, about to soft wash this house. About to clean this deck here. That fence. And then soft wash the whole house. I'll take some uh, before pictures. Here at this job, got my hoses pulled, got my batch made on the back side over there, got about 3% mix. This is the house I'm soft washing today. And then I'm going to clean this deck for her. I'm going to 12 volt the deck and the fence from about there over both sides. Clean that little carport. And then I'm going to downstream the entire house. So this is what the deck looks like right now. It's going to be a pretty dramatic difference when I finish. All right, let's get to work. All right, guys, so now I'm doing the same thing to the fence. About a 3% mix. It's going to lighten up this fence a lot. And I'll lightly hit it with the... Uh, I may use the X-Jet nozzle to rinse. We'll see. Guys, when when a customer says they're gonna they're gonna move all their furniture, they don't. Jeffrey, all right, guys. So I spent a second treatment on the deck. I finished the fence. Now I'm onto the soft wash. Got my black tip on. I'm downstreaming. You can see the soap. I'll probably be able to use the black tip on this whole house. It's not very tall. Get those gutters nice. Of dirt on this wall here, so show y'all the before and after of this one. 
I'm using the black tip on this whole house, guys. I am using the J-Rod to rinse, but to apply Kim, black tip. And I'm using my four gallon per minute machine to downstream. This house is turning out great. I just noticed something. She came out of her house and called me Jeffrey, which is my first name. I don't know how she knows that. But uh, anyway, she did that throughout the whole job. Came out and just had to stop what I was doing and talk. So it's like, that's a perfect example. You can see her come out or hear her come out of her house in the video and call me by name and I had to stop what I was doing. So that's the main reason this video wasn't the best. Um, I didn't get any before and after pictures because I was talking to her the whole time. So. You know, engaging with your customer is more important than pictures, but at the same time, it doesn't give you the guys the best content, and I, uh, I apologize for that. So, but I hope you did get something out of this video. Um, for wood, I use around 3% mix, and you know, for for houses, I just downstream and use 2.5% SH. So, um, but the biggest thing I wanted you guys to get from this is you know how to disengage those customers. So, you're going to get talkers, you're going to get customers who are going to tell you how to do your job and you have to be able to provide an answer and just figure out how to get out of those situations so you can you can do your job. All right guys, Scott Lett, Pro Exterior Cleaning.